Mm-hmm. Today we're going to be making Mr. Watt. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Now, Mr. Watt is a red lentil stew or red lentil sauce that's made in Ethiopia. It's a very popular Ethiopian dish. I never tried it before, but I say I wanted to do it for the longest while, so today I'm going to do it. And it has two main ingredients. One of the main ingredients is the red lentils. Now, if you ask me, it's looking like it's orange. I would call this orange lentils, but people call it red lentils, so we, we're going with that. Red lentils, and the other main ingredient is the Burberry, I hope I'm pronouncing that right as well, Burberry Spice Blend, which is another popular Ethiopian spice blend. It is very prominent in a lot of Ethiopian dishes. So I have some ingredients here, some spices that are going to combine to make this Burberry Spice Mix. Now I did some research and I couldn't find one consistent um, recipe where they use the same spices throughout. They have some spices that are definitely there in each recipe, but it have some little alterations. Some use cloves, some didn't, some have allspice, some didn't, but I try to keep it as consistent to the original recipe, but throwing in some other little spices in there as well. So for all intents and purposes, I will be making a Burberry spice mix, but if you look online, you may find different versions of it. So the first thing we want to do in getting our Burberry spice mix going is toast off the whole spices. Now I'm aware that you will not be able to get all of these spices whole, but the ones that you can get whole, definitely you want to toast them off first. So we're starting off with a quarter of a nutmeg, a few grains of clove, some allspice berries, a piece of cinnamon, a tablespoon of coriander seeds, a teaspoon of methi, a teaspoon of jeera, a teaspoon of black peppercorns and some whole cardamom. And now you want to toast this until it's fragrant and starts to pop. You don't want to burn it, you just want to toast it to release some of the oils and the spices. All right, so this will take like about 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Now it's toasty and in here smelling real good. Okay, so now I add in my spices into the spice grinder. I'm definitely making a whole mess here. And now I'm gonna grind this until it's a fine powder. Nice. Add in our ground spices to the bowl. And now we add in some ginger powder, garlic powder, paprika, and cayenne pepper. Now we're just going to combine this. And don't worry, I will have the full list of ingredients in the recipe on the website. So fear not. And yeah, just like that, boom, we have our Burberry spice blend. This will add great flavor to our lentils. And if you're smelling here already, smelling real good. Could only imagine that this is gonna taste real good as well. The other ingredients needed for this recipe is onions. I have six onions diced here. I don't know that seems like a lot of onion, but trust me, it's gonna cook down real nice in the stew. I also have some ginger and garlic here. Now, most of the recipes that I saw didn't use fresh ginger and fresh garlic, but I thought it couldn't hurt, so why not? Also, we'll be adding a bay leaf, just my own little touch there, and some tomato paste. So now that we have our ingredients ready, let me get this show going. Okay, so starting off with a couple of tablespoons of oil in a pot. Now we're gonna add our onions. And you want this to saute for about five minutes. You really want to break down the natural sugars in the onions and let them start to caramelize. You're not going for fully caramelized onions, but you know, you want to sweat them for a while to break it down so you get a little sweetness in the dish. Okay, so five minutes has passed and we have some good color going on the onions. Now we're just going to add some of our Burberry spice. Add our garlic, add our ginger. Just gonna let this saute 
for another minute or so. And as the spices hit the oil, real fragrant, smelling real good. All right, at this point, I wanna add my tomato paste. Add in the lentils that are washed. Add in salt to taste. Gonna add the bay leaf. And we add in four cups of water. And you're gonna let this come to a boil. Okay, so now that our lentils are at a boil, what we're gonna do is reduce the heat. And we're gonna cover this and allow it to cook for 30 minutes. All right, so checking on it now. And I said 30 minutes, but it actually took 20 minutes to cook. And we're looking good here, looking real nice. See it has thickened and it's cooked perfectly. Now to finish it off, I just want to add some fresh shadow benny or culantro. Give that a toss. And that's it for our Monsieur Watt. Looking good, smelling good. Can't wait to taste this. A little white rice to go with it. It's gonna add some of our lentils on top. Mm hmm Yeah. I mean, look how we're looking here. Real nice. A real nice color, the aroma mm, smelling real good. It's gonna go for the taste one time. This is as delicious as I expected it to be. Wow, this tastes real good. The lentils cooked perfectly, it's a nice creamy texture. And listen, that Burberry spice mix. The Ethiopians know what they're doing. They know what they're doing with this Burberry Spice Blend. It just brings the lentils to life. It's a real layered and complex flavor profile, but mm, delicious, real delicious. I can't wait to try it with some chicken, even some fish. I feel it will be real nice in that. If you like this recipe, please give the video a thumbs up and give it a share. And if you do try it, post your photos on social media and tag us in them. We'd love to see it. As always, the full recipe will be posted on the website, so look out for a link to that in the video description. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please take a moment to do so and ring the bell to be notified of when we post new content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm-hmm.